What people build, those sites that years, centuries, or millennia later continue to inspire awe, wonder, and a deeper appreciation of what it means to be human, reflect the soul of the world. Today, age-old threats such as erosion, natural disasters, and violent conflicts and truly modern ones like climate change and accelerating urbanization are threatening these irreplaceable symbols of our global identity like never before. This is why every two years, World Monuments Fund partners with local communities around the world to shine a light on 25 at-risk sites that marry great historical significance with contemporary social impact. This is the 2020 World Monuments Watch. At Rapa Nui National Park in Chile, the people of Easter Island are concerned that their sacred petroglyphs may be lost. Because of erosion, they are at risk of falling into the ocean. The community wants to collaborate with the best experts to find solutions. Easter Island is remarkable, not only in terms of what a significant and unique site it is, but that the true stakeholders, the community, to whom the site belongs and to whom the site has meaning are the leading force behind its preservation and current and future initiatives to make sure that the site is well managed. At Utah's Bears Ears National Monument, de-designation will cause cultural heritage to be pillaged, roads to be built, and sacred sites of a tribal council to be lost. It's really important, I think, to recognise that the Indigenous values of any country are often undocumented, unknown, unseen and sometimes silent. In the case of Bears Ears, where we have many, many thousands of sites in that area, looking after them as a whole, looking after them as a national park, is a really important process to go through. In India's Deccan Plateau, the local community faces a different challenge. Water is scarce, and traditional systems can offer solutions, but these time-tested structures will disappear if not restored. There's a gross inequity that's taking place in terms of access to water. So how can we respect and honor traditional knowledge so that we can be more community conscious in the way we safeguard the planet? In Uzbekistan, the stories of the former Jewish community of Bukhara could be lost forever. The majority of Jews began leaving in 1991, but the homes where they lived and the synagogues where they prayed remain. Local partners want to work with us to find solutions to preserve those memories. One probably wouldn't think of Jewish culture in Uzbekistan or in Central Asia, and I think that's important to look at the diversity of places and the fact that what we want to preserve is the heritage of a pluralistic, multifaceted, dynamic community and not a monolithic thing. In San Antonio, Texas, the challenge is of a different kind. Here, there's a struggle between competing memories. The San Antonio Woolworth Building is at risk of being lost in a redevelopment plan involving the nearby Alamo. In both cases, the significance lies not so much in the architecture but in the momentous events that happened within their walls. The Woolworth Building was one of the first places to peacefully integrate its lunch counter during the civil rights movement. We don't have to choose one thing over another. What we're trying to do is to help people discover cultural richness. It's about how many periods and many communities and many ideas come together to make a place unique and a place valuable to many different people. In Peru's sacred valley of the Incas, the local community wants to be included in the conversation about a new airport that will allow more tourists to visit their region, but will also jeopardize their rich cultural landscape. We must work to find a balance to allow more people to discover the world's treasures while not destroying them. This is a very significant valley, a, a full of historical sites, archaeological sites, ancient Inca roots. The advantage that the watch has there is to shine a light on thinking about how regional planning should proceed. The 2020 World Monuments Watch includes little-known places and universally recognized icons. 
They span 21 countries and date from prehistory to the 20th century. What they all have in common are local communities who want to act, and they need all of our help. World Monuments Fund has committed to work with them to create awareness and craft sustainable solutions. We invite you to join us in saving irreplaceable treasures and creating a more inclusive world. Using our voices, knowledge, passion, and resources to protect these places has never been more important. Thank you.